Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my note structure so that hopefully it provides you with some guidance on how to build your own note tree or you can also just copy mine. So let's go. Before I start, I just want to give a bit of disclaimer that I might go very quickly because this is just an overview of my note tree template in DaVinci Resolve. So if you find it a bit hard to keep up with the settings and the logic behind each node, you can drop a comment down below and I will do a separate video on the nodes itself. So a quick reminder before you start grading, you can go into your clips, right click on the clip and use remote grades. If you're not sure what remote grades are, I have a video on that on my channel so go check that out. Alright, so I'm going to start with my node number one and slowly move down to the last node over here which is a film grade. Let's turn that off for now. So starting off with my first note, which is the highlights, I like to reduce the highlights as seen in this. So these are kind of peaking in the raw footage itself. So I want to address that as early on as possible by going into my qualifier and turning off hue and saturation only using luminance or you can also use the loom over here. And my low I set is 65 and low soft to 15 so that I get a very soft qualifying, only the luminance. And then using my highlights, I reduce it to negative 50. So negative 50 is kind of my preset that I use. If I need more or less, then I will go in and adjust it manually on each individual clip. After my highlights, I have my primaries where I do all the color correction like the temperature, the tin, and also the lift gamma gain where I did a bit of adjustments here and also to the contrast, but I think this is a mistake. And also in the long wheels, if I need to do adjustments here, I will do everything to correct my footage in the primaries. And you can see that I separated out saturation because this is using the Cullen Kelly technique by using the HSV technique and turning off the two channels, only leaving on the saturation channel so that I can do a more photographic saturation which results in a more richer tone. And I also try to take full advantage of this saturation technique by going into my primaries and dropping down my saturation to increase it in this note. So I have it to quite high 1.65 because I reduce it to 25 in my primaries node. If I reset this, you can see that the saturation is bursting. So I'm going to undo that. And moving on to this stack of parallel notes, which is like my creative notes. So in my exposure note, I will lower down the exposure if it's a darker scene. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as empty. And in my look note, I will start doing a look. For this particular clip, I used the qualifier tool and inverted it. And then I push some teal into my gamma. And yeah, this technique works for this particular clip. So there's a lot of way that you can do your look. And moving on to the hue versus is where I will do bits of adjustments. It's kind of like my secondary. So I will use my hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, and also versus luminance over here. In case I want to do any bits of adjustments to his skin or anything like that. And then moving on, I have my Ari tones, which is kind of my secret recipe. So I just did a bit of adjustments in the hue versus parts to make it kind of mimic Ari colors, which is a bit pale, not too sharp, not too contrasty. And depending on what it does with my clip, I will decide whether I want to turn it on or turn it off. In this case, it looks pretty good with it on, so I'll just leave it on. And moving on to this stack, which is where I want to shape the light, where I want to shift the focus of the audience. This is where I do all that. So I have my vignette and I set it to a preset like this with the soft at 11.5 so that I can very easily turn on and off the vignette whether to see whether I want it or not. In this case, I'll just leave it on. And I also have a skin node over here where I qualify his skin. So this skin node works pretty well if you've done everything properly in your primaries. 
which I always do. So the skin always qualifies pretty nicely, but in this note, all I do to the skin is to reduce the mid-tone detail so that it looks smoother and more commercial-like. So I can decide whether I want it to look smooth or whether I want to turn it off. And the next note is my focus, where I want to focus the audience's eye. And I have my gain turned to 1.05 and I just have to shift this focus window to wherever the subject is. In this case, the subject is his face. So I will put this note over here and maybe use a tracking to track his face. So it'd be something like that. But if the focus is this ball instead of his face, then I'll just put the focus on this ball and then track the ball accordingly. So I'll undo that. And next I have a skin adjustment, which is also quite the same thing, which is using the qualifier tool and then selecting his skin. And then I shifted his skin towards the orange a bit more because his skin was kind of pale. So I boosted his skin color to separate him from the background. So I can start to shape light with these notes. And in this note, I roughly draw something like this to darken the outsides, to enhance the subject a bit more so that you don't get distracted by other things like the words and the numbers over here. And my next note is something very specific also. So I want to remove the yellow in the price tag. And I did that by using the hue versus saturation and going into my yellows and just removing that. So if I turn this off, you will see that the price tag has a bit of yellow to it so i just want to remove that so that it doesn't get distracting and moving on to this stack of notes which is my global adjustments i have my curves which i have turned on editable splines to do a bit of contrast adjustment and i have a video on this in my channel also so you can check that out and I also have a global note in case that I want to do any adjustments globally so that I don't have to go back into my primaries because if I do the adjustment here, then the skin might be affected or anything like that. So the global adjustment is just in case I want to do a bit of adjustment right at the end. I also have my detail note over here, which I ran into my blur and the radius, I reduce it from 0 0.5 to 0 0.47 to sharpen out the image a little bit. And after that, I have an empty note. So I found this quite useful in case I would just want to inject anything over here. So this is like a spare note that I leave empty. And after the empty note, I have my bleach bypass effect. So if I turn that on, you see that it gets a bit more gloomy, a bit less saturated. So this is a look that could be good for action movies, but in this case, it's not really fitting, but I have it here ready. So let's go into this. It's a compound node, which consists of these adjustments. And I learned this technique from YouTube, so you can search videos on bleach bypass. So I have it compounded so that I can go into my key output gain and reduce it, which I have to 0 0.3 at the moment. Let me turn this off. And then right after that is my CST node. So I have CST nodes preset with this node graph template, which I have in my toolbox. So I have a base nodes, which is an empty CST, and then I have my Sony, Red, Kinefinity, Blackmagic, and also RE templates. The templates are all same in terms of nodes, just that the CST is set to whatever profile that the camera was shot on. So right now I have my Sony S Gamma 3 Cine and S Log 3 preset in my CST node. And after the CST node, we are working in a Rec 709 color space. So I have all my effects that works better in a Rec 709 color space, which is the Kodak 2383. And inside this compound node, I also have a CST turning it from Rex 709 to Cineon Film Log and then using the Kodak 2383 LUT by DaVinci Resolve. Tada! Okay, and then next I have my noise reduction node, which I have set over here in motion effects. So frame is 3, motion better, uh, medium, and then temporal threshold, I have my luma and chroma at 20. So depending on the noise in the footage, I will see whether I need to increase this or I can reduce this to save a bit of GPU power. So let me turn this off for now. And then I have my glow node and this is nothing special. It's just dragging in the effects from the library. 
and my halation also i just drag in the effects and my film grain i have it preset to 16 mm 500t and depending on what i'm grading i will see whether i want to turn it on or off so there's actually a one more note behind this film grain note which i will add right now and it is the hanser so I just recently did a review on the Hanser. So if you want to get the Hanser Pro, I have a promo code Denigan to get 10% off on your purchase. So right now I'm putting the Hanser Pro at the end because I like to work in a Rex Online color space with the Hanser. And depending on what adjustments I want to make to the Hanser, I can do so. But I find the film stock pretty useful in case I want to emulate any film stock or the film breath and also the gate weave effect which gives a very realistic film tone so this is where i would put the hanser but if i'm not using the hanser i just turn it off so you can see that there's like a lot of notes in this note tree template but most of it are usually turned off if i don't need them like if I don't need a vignette or I don't need skin softening, I just turn it off. But I have it all in my note tree because I can audition looks very quickly. Like if I want to test whether this clip needs a bleach bypass, I can just easily turn it on and then see how much output gain does it need. And if I don't like it, I can just turn it off. So I can very quickly see whether what kind of effects do I want to put in. So keep in mind that you don't have to use everything, just the things that you feel is necessary for this particular clip that you're working on. So that's about it for my Note 3 tour. If you want to use this exact same Note 3 on your project, but you don't want to waste your time building it, I have a link to purchase this Note 3 template in the description. And any purchase that you make to the website is highly appreciated because it supports the channel and YouTube doesn't really pay that well anyways. So I hope you took something away from this video. If you did, drop me a like and also comment on what you would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.